Hey everybody! It's good to see ya. I got my buddy Charlie here. I liked the last chapter so much that he decided he wanted to come back, come back again, so... Um, plus he's keeping my leg nice and warm. Yeah, he's being a good boy. Alright, so chapter 11 is called Extra Extra. Read all about it. So in chapter 10, do you remember what happened? Mm, yes, Judy Morgan was doing some investigating to find out about an article she could write on how this Frindle business all happened, how it got started, who was involved, and she was doing her job as a reporter. So now chapter 11 is called Extra Extra. Read all about it. And I don't know if you know this, but back, you know, when newspapers were a lot more popular than they are these days, unfortunately, um, the, the paper boys would go outside and they would holler, extra, extra, read all about it. And they would hold up the paper and they would say, you know, um, Mrs. Ryman won one million dollars last night. Read about it in the newspaper. <laughs> so I wonder what's going to be in the newspaper. Hmm. All right, here we go. On Thursday morning, the Westfield Gazette was delivered to all 12,297 homes and post offices in Westfield. The story about Lincoln Elementary School was the first item on the front page. And the headline? Local fifth grader says, move over, Mr. Webster. It was quite an article. Not that Judy Morgan didn't tell the truth. Every statement in the article was completely true. It was the particular way that she told the truth that got things hopping around town. For example, take this sentence about Mrs. Granger. Mrs. Granger, champion of the forces of order and authority, is battling hundreds of young Frindle fighters. Neither side is giving in. Or this bit about Nick. Everyone agrees that Nick Allen masterminded this plot that cleverly raises issues about free speech and academic rules. He is the boy who invented the new word. Or this last sentence in the article. One thing is for sure. The kids at Lincoln Elementary School love their friendles and no one seems to be backing off in this war of the words. And of course, the Westfield Gazette published the class picture too. And Mrs. Granger and Nick were identified for all the world to see. What is the meaning of this? That's what Nick's mother said, putting the article in front of Nick's nose. Did you talk to this reporter? She seems to know an awful lot about you and your new word, young man. What is the meaning of all this? That's what the school superintendent said to Mrs. Chatham, slapping a copy of the article onto her desk. Why did you have to talk to that reporter? Don't we have enough trouble getting the taxpayers to pay for the schools without articles like this banging around town? What is the meaning of this? That's what Mrs. Chatham said to Mrs. Granger, shaking the newspaper in her face. I know you had to talk to that woman, but did you have to say all these things? It'll be a wonder if we don't all get fired. It was quite a Thursday for everyone. And no one could figure out how Judy Morgan had gotten that fifth grade class picture. Huh. Well, that's the end of our very short chapter. What do you think? How do you think she got that picture? Someone had to have sent it. Or someone had to have dropped it off. Right, Charlie? He didn't pick his head up. <laughs> huh. I'm pretty curious. I wonder what's going to happen. So, as we've learned more about our main characters, we have Nick and we have Mrs. Granger as our main characters. We have a lot of supporting characters as well. Um, but I want you to think how those two characters are similar. What kind of things do Nick and Mrs. Granger have in common? And then I want you to think to yourself, 
what kind of things do Nick and Mrs. Granger have opposite of each other or not in common? All right, what don't, so what do they have similar and what do they have in contrast? All right, um, I want you to kind of think of those things. And if you want, you can send me a message and let me know what you think. And then this story, has the plot has taken so many twists. It's gone from a simple day in fifth grade to now we have the newspaper involved and they're writing stories about what's happening. I mean, where is all this going to go, you guys? Do you have any ideas? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you can talk to somebody around you. Or, of course, you can send me a message. And I'll write you back. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.